all right, hello, and welcome to the Match Day Vlogs YouTube channel. As always, please remember to smash that like button and hit subscribe because it really does, it really does make a difference to the channel. It really does. It really, it really, it really does. It really does. It really does. Do you know what, Jack? This is our 500th video on the Match Day Vlogs channel. 500, eh? 500. It feels like six. Let's feel like so. so you join us here at the Select Car Leasing Stadium. I'm not reading that off the seats or anything. Uh, Select Car Leasing Stadium to see Reading FC take on Southampton FC in a pre-season friendly. Um, of course, we've just come back from, well, we haven't come back from Turkey, um, but the, the squad have come back from Turkey. Uh, what are we expecting from the lineups? I mean, I can see what Bazunu's in there, Maro's in there. Allow me to get the lineup. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. We like to receive news first. And then we like to tell people last. It's what we it's what we do on this channel. Yeah, I forgot, I forgot. yeah we know the meaning of the word embargo. Right, um, who have we got in the lineups here? Let's let's put them up on the screen so you can all see. Yeah, there they are. There right, they are. there we go, there we go. So we got Bazunu in goal, Livermento, uh, Bednarek, Stevens, Walker Peters, Warprouse, Smallbow, and Alcrez, Tella, Mara, and Adam Armstrong. Um, there has been news over this weekend talking about Tino you know, Livermento and a supposed link to Newcastle United but we've said no to 30 million and apparently 150 million so he is playing here today um, what can we expect from that lineup? I mean, of course Russell Martin is going to be enforcing a whole new style of football that we've not seen before but yeah, yeah. any thoughts on that? Well that's the thing it's exciting to see what it's going to look like in person I think even in the, in the two friendly games that we've seen so far you can see a giant change in how the boys are playing and like how comfy they are and getting into it possession so, based yeah so I don't, it's not really I look at the lineups and I'm like I don't really care much about what's going on it, you know, apart from I think Tino's going to miss that Newcastle medical today I don't think he's going to he won't, yeah. quite, won't quite make that but yeah. it's just seeing who's comfortable and I think like by the end of the next few friendlies after Tuesday night and next week we'll get a better idea of who's going to be starting yeah. but it's just good to see all of these guys it's good to see this team if this team starts next season <laughs> HMS Walk the league, can I say? You, you can say that. You can say that, absolutely. Um, it will be fascinating to see, of course, who's going to be still here at the end of the transfer window. It's kind of a little bit annoying that that transfer window is going to go federally four weeks into our championship campaign. Um, but, you know, we are basically playing Sheffield Wednesday away pretty much two weeks to two weeks yesterday. Yep. Yeah, two weeks yesterday, you know. it's And we're starting to get a better idea. I've, it's more about where these positions are. Like, let's say Adam Armstrong is he going to be playing number 9 is he going to be pulling back to that number 10 role is he going to be just going up and down I mean against the, you know, in Turkey he was amazing yeah. the speed of him was great I'm excited to see Smallbone I thought Smallbone in the last game was whipping some really good passes but because not everybody was up the pace they weren't meeting people like they were really whipped balls yeah. that just weren't being chased after so I'm excited to see Smallbone I'm excited to see I can't believe I'm about to say I'm excited to see Adam Armstrong today and you know clip it clip it everyone clip it a clip it I am I'm genuinely excited to see Adam Armstrong this season in this league but I think as always is is Baz and McCarthy going to protect that near post because <laughs> Anybody who tells me that goal in Turkey wasn't meant to go in, it was. It just was, and it was awful. So, you know, today is the day that they tell me that we don't need a new number one. Yeah, yeah. Serious, so um, there's Jack completely writing off the Bazunu interview that we got lined up, but there we go. <laughs> anyway, we wait here with anticipation for kickoff um, as Southampton take on Reading here at Select Carly Stadium. Right, kickoff coming up. Yeah, 
round we won. It's round we won. All right, it's currently half time here at the Medici Stadium. Currently, Reading one, Southampton two. Uh, Start the game very lively with a goal within two minutes, maybe, from Jan Bednarek. Following up with a goal from James Ward Prowse himself. And then we conceded rather free goal right after. I think Bednarek went down injured, didn't he? And then they basically got caught. Uh, and Reading scored but I think the most impressive thing I'm seeing today is is what we're doing I mean I'm hearing a lot about Russell Martin being possession based football but my worry was the case of okay what happens when we lose possession you know what what is the reaction going to be and okay this Reading side aren't up to much looking from the outside looking in but they've still been quick to get the ball back so I've been quite impressed with that yeah I think you're right I think Stevens and Benderak have looked like a, the partnership that we kind of always knew they were yeah. It's just finally coming to fruition with it. Premier League partnership. A Premier League partnership, exactly. So they're, they're looking really good together. But you're right, those off the ball movements are really, really good. And I think I think, I think think Saints fans will get frustrated this season with the amount of passing and the lack of shooting. Yeah. But, yeah, I, feel, but I do feel like we're, we're keeping possession really, really well. Yeah. We're working it around. And when you, you know last season when we would like work the ball around the edge of the box and we'd be like, it's not going to go anywhere? I want to watch this and like, oh, they're in the spaces and they're going to go somewhere. Yeah, yeah. They're going to get something out of this. It's, so yeah, it's looking good. They're certainly playing it more in the middle of the park as well. I mean, the wide options are there, but we're also looking for more penetrative balls right through the middle. And, and I think that's kind of a, an extra thing that perhaps we didn't see last season, is the fact that we're not just looking for the wide man and going out wide and trying to sort of penetrate that way. There's a few more dangerous short passes being played in the middle of the park. But, um, but anyway, any other final thoughts? Um, I do also think that maybe the drop in, uh, you know, the, the drop in leagues, and obviously today's a bit different, but I feel it gives them a bit more room to express themselves. So I've seen like, for, for, like just a bit more flair on the ball, a bit more confidence going forward. Because they most of these players know they're better than the competition that they've got in front of them. So I'm hoping that we start seeing that a bit more in their performance. But I'm excited to see second half, especially some of the changes. I think Tino's looking a lot more comfortable cutting inside. Yeah. And if and considering uh, you know he's meant to be in Newcastle right now. I think he's looking like he's enjoying himself and if that's his position this season cutting in I think he's going to be an absolute menace definitely uh, the medal team up in Newcastle uh, are still awaiting his arrival hmm. anyway right second half coming up Ended Reading to Southampton four. I'm not sure if we learnt too much in terms of defence-wise, but certainly attack going forward. I've been very excited to see oh, yeah. Amma Yor and also Ryan Manning making some uh, great runs in there and causing a lot of trouble. Any other thoughts? You know what? Dozy looks amazing. All the young boys look great. Small bone, I think it's going to be absolutely class in the middle of the pitch. 
and that man's going to take us up. Look at this. Russell Martin. <laughs> Russell Martin, getting the appreciation from the travelling fans here. <laughs> Giving them a thumbs up, look at that. One thing I would say is we got a heck of a squad for a championship. Yeah, it's, quite a big, squad. it's quite likely that we're going to see some slimming down, but i tell you what, this looks decent. Yeah, this squad is a decent. And this, in the championship, is going to be great. Anyway, there it is. So it did Reading 2, Southampton 4. As always, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. All right, see ya.